love the Lord God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, with all your strength? Secondly, do you love your neighbor as yourself? I'm telling y'all, people are not going to be impressed with whether or not you can shout or, or praise God in A flat. They want to know what is God really like. And we keep missing opportunities because whenever they're acting a fool, we start acting a fool with them. Instead of showing them what God is like. We, we like to show them the judgment of God. I'll rain down fire and brimstone on you. Well, the modern day fire and brimstone is a, a, a nice little cussing out. Cuss you up one side and down the other uh, 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 because, because we don't understand they want to see God. That's why I'm, I'm challenging you tonight. I told you, you may shout, you may not, but I'm, I'm getting in your mind tonight because who I am is not good enough. Never settle for good when best is available. Romans 8 28 says and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God and the called according to his what? When you know your life has purpose then everything else is going to be all right. Because I've been ordained to do this. I got purpose in my life. So when stuff started happening, I don't lose sight of my life has purpose. Three. And I close. What was number one? I said you were created to be great. Number two, you are called to greatness. And number three, you must contend for greatness. <laughs> uh, come on, tell your neighbor, fight for who you are. You have fight for. Uh, 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 uh. Before I formed you in your mother's belly, I knew you and ordained you a prophet to the nations. Huh. So, you knew who I was before I got here. You told me what I was going to do, so I needed to discover my purpose. You told me I would be a prophet to the nations. Uh, <laughs> but, a lot can happen between the beginning of the verse and the end of the verse. <laughs> Noah would save humanity. But in between was a flood. Abraham would be the father of faith. But in between, there was an altar of sacrifice. Rahab would help the spies and save her family. But in between was prostitution. Joseph would live in the palace, but in between was the pit and the prison. Esther would save the Jews, but in between was a chance for her to die. David would be king. But in between was Saul and Goliath. Job would have double for his trouble. But in between, he would lose it all. Jonah would see revival. But in between, he was in the belly of hell. Peter would preach the first apostolic message. But in between, he left Jesus. Paul 
would establish the New Testament church. But in between was a shipwreck. In between was some betrayal. In between was being sent to prison. And Jesus would be the savior of the world. But in between was the cross. I, I know what God called me. And I believe I'm going to see it at the end. That's not my problem. My problem is what happens Boy, I believe I got some in-between people in here. See, 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 see. You see me lifting my hands and praising the Lord now. You see what I can give in the offering now. You see uh, what I, where I am at this point. But I didn't tell you about what happened. See, see, some of us right now are dealing with our in between. And you got to figure out whether or not you want to be great. So what you have to do is decide, am I going to stay here or am I going to greatness? Come on, tell you, neighbor, you're just in between. You, you're just in between. You're just in between. You're just in between. Now. And I close. The Bible says that they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. Is that in the scripture? Y'all need me to go find it to quote it to you. Y'all believe me? But you can pull up your phone and just search blood of the Lamb. But but First Lady Williams, <laughs> I know she don't want me to prophesy right now. Let's like, stop it, stop it. It says they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. And they love not their life till the death. The blood of the lamb we get. That's what Jesus did. What he didn't do for you is give you his testimony. Because he wanted you to have your own. Because he's already overcome. But he's trying to build something in you. So when the wicked one comes at you, you can do like him and overcome. And some of y'all are mad about your testimony. <laughs> you mad about what's going on right now. God, if you love me, why'd you let him die? God, if you love me, why did this cancer get in my body? God, if you love me, why did you let it get repossessed? God, if you love me, how come I'm working on my third marriage? God, if you love me, why is it that I don't have any real friends? It's because God is giving you an opportunity to have a test to own it. Now, I'm going to my seat. What is a testimony? A testimony is an undeniable experience that you've had with God in the past to sustain you through any present difficulty. The testimony isn't for now. The testimony is for later. What he's building in you right now it's going to get you through your now. But when your trouble shows up later, you can tell your trouble, hey, I already got this covered because I've got 
a testimony. I wish I could preach this thing night. <laughs> so God is saying, you are already great. I just want you to go through. And when you go through, everybody else will see what I've been saying. They, they missed that, Pastor Jackson. I'm going to say it again because I know they missed it. When you go through, God already said it. It's just that we don't believe it. Because we're looking at you now and saying, ain't no way that you are what God said you were. Because you don't look like anything that God said you are. But God is saying, I need you to go through so they can see what I saw. And they can see what I said. Prove it, preacher. When Jesus was on the cross, they looked at him and they said, if thou be the son of God. Oh. Come on, tell your neighbor, if, 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 if God really loved you, if God cared about you, if God got all of this money, if God got all of this peace, if God is really great as you say he is, how come he ain't done nothing yet? And so here you are, up here exposed to everybody, because you done told them that you saved and you love God. And right now, you look a mess. Your stuff look a mess. And everybody's saying, well, if he was the son of God, he would have came down from there. But I didn't get up here just to show you that I had pain. I got up here to show you that I'm going to get up. The crowning achievement of your life is when they look back at you and say, is this the same person that I just saw go through what they went through? When Jesus rose, they didn't recognize him. Somebody, I know I'm preaching good here right now. When Jesus got up, he was walking with two men, maybe it may have been a man and a woman, but they were walking down the Emmaus Road, talking to him. They talked for the whole walk and brought him in the house. They were talking about how he had died and, and that they thought that he was the chosen one and he was going to be the one to save Israel. Went to the house, and then he started talking and explaining to them. And then he disappeared out of their sight. And here's what they said. Did not our hearts burn. That God that was just up on that cross, ripped to shreds, is now walking around fully whole. And he doesn't look like what is. Hey! Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, when I get through this, look like what I've been through because I am great I am great I am great I am great say I am. intended for your story to end like this. See, y'all wouldn't have let me come preach here uh, back in 89. (laughs) 
No, no. See, 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 see. Some of y'all are like, why? Who, who, who would have said why? why? Why wouldn't y'all let him come preach in 89? Those, those are my pharmaceutical days. <laughs> She's talking to me now. See, see, 89, I had a thriving uh, pharmaceutical business. And, and uh, I had a uh, congregation that I also attended to on Saturdays. And I was responsible for bringing the spirit. Small case S. Yo, you, you, know, you know some of the spirits. The spirit of Corona, come on. The, the spirit of Tanqueray. Spirit of Ciroc. Mm-hmm. Spirit of Bacardi. So I, I ushered in the spirit. And then I was responsible for taking care of sisters that needed encouragement in their life. <laughs> y'all trying to be deep in here tonight, but I, I ain't scared of none of y'all. <laughs> so, Bishop Elijah wouldn't let me come preach here. I don't even know why. I had, I had a good job, I had the spirit, and I was helping other people. Wrong job. <laughs> but, 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 somebody had prophesied years ago, they said, you're going to preach. Now, 89... I ain't look like that. 90. I ain't look like that. 91. I ain't look like that. Halfway through 92. It still looked terrible. But something happened. On August 22nd. 1992. About 8.15 in the evening. I said, Lord, I'm going to church to get saved Sunday. The Lord said to me, what makes you think you can get from here home, much less from Wednesday to Sunday? And so right there on the second floor of the break room of my job, I gave my life to Jesus. Right. Yes, then I started walking it out. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You, you know, uh, saved and, 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 and pressing on. You know, a little stumble here and there, but I said to myself, I'm not going back. I'm going to stay saved. Whatever it takes. I believe God. So, so now, uh, here I am at 633 Prince, Prince William Street, Reedsville, North Carolina, preaching for... Pastor Mary Jackson and the Jerusalem United Holy Church. At the beginning, God said what I would be. But it didn't look like what God said was ever going to happen. But here I am on a Thursday night, October. 2014, preaching the word of God because he already put greatness inside me and all I had to do was go through the process and now I don't look like what I've been through. Say it! Yeah.
Tell your neighbor, say neighbor. You look good tonight. Now, neighbor, tell him, thank you. But I got a secret. I don't look like. Hey, 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 hey. I don't look like. I don't look like the divorce. I don't look like the illness. I don't look like I'm broke. I don't look like I've been depressed. I don't look like what I've been through. The greater is he. Say greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. Greater, 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 greater. 